What's going on guys? It's me Jiggly and I'm back with another mod block spotlight tutorial for you. This one's on the energetic infuser from Thermal Expansion. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so this one is pretty uh it's pretty basic, pretty self-explanatory. The energetic infuser from Thermal Expansion. This is what it looks like. Uh it's actually really cool when it's charging, and I'll show that. But uh the four thermal expansion cells. I'm pretty sure it can use other ones too if you're using other mod, uh, you know, it, with all, all within a mod pack. But for the feature of this video and how this thing works, I'm going to show you the thermal expansion energy cells. Of course, that's a creative one with unlimited energy. But uh, first things first, we got to know how to craft it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the crafting recipe for this guy. And we're looking at one leadstone uh, energy cell frame two redstone transmission coils, machine frame, two copper gears, and one redstone reception coil. This baby's going to be transmitting and intaking or receiving power. So, but of course it transmits a lot more than it receives, but let's go ahead and open it up here. Starting off, it can transmit a maximum of 8,000 RF per tick, and it can store 1 million RF in its little buffer there. Uh, let's see if information infuses energy into compatible items. Charge rates may be limited by the item. Feel the hum. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Uh, thermal expansion, the standard three. We got the um, transfer out of a device, the redstone control, and the ability to configure the sides. Redstone, of course, being ignored and, and you know disabled. And then configuration, I've got it on an intake output, standard blue-orange. Um, and once these things charge, it's you can you can easily set up a, a battery storage um, setup. Essentially, you can have all you can you can automate it. Basically, is what I'm getting at. So it uses the leadstone, uh, like I have down here. Uh, you got the hardened energy cell, the redstone energy cell, and the resonant energy cell. Uh, all can hold different amounts. But as you can tell, if it's not got any RF stored, it's not lit up. It's not. So we're going to go with the basic one first to show you. So you put the basic one in the blue. This little lightning bolt guy, it shows you the progress, what's done. And you can hold shift here and you can see. So it can it can send and receive 200 RF per tick. That's what it's doing. So it's charging. <laughs> Uh, this one can move 800 RF per tick, 8,000 RF per tick, and 32,000 RF per tick. So we'll go ahead and showcase that one, and you can see here where it's, that's what I was talking about, that cool graphic. That's what it looks like when it's powered and functioning and moving. Um, and of course, we're using the Cryo Flux, uh, just because I think it looks cool. But um, this, this is the energetic infuser. You can see here where it's about half done now. Yeah, almost. We were like 45%. And once that's done, it's going to spit it out into the pipe and into our chest. And it's it's that simple. This guy allows you to charge up portable energy storage. And you can subsequently do some mobile power or something. If you're running a quarry, if you're running a whatever you want to set up, uh, basically, this is what it allows you to do. <laughs> So this guy's almost fully charged. We got another 80 RF to go. 80,000 RF. We'll do the redstone one next and see if it transmits it faster. I think it'll be the same speed because of the transfer rates. Um, but yeah, this is the this is the basic tutorial on. Uh, <laughs> let's see, redstone energy cell. All right, now let's do the redstone. And you can see here that it's moving over. And it's going to drop into the... Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yep. She's transferring 8,000 RF per tick right now. Yeah, it's already at 2 million. We've already more than doubled the leadstone one. But now, if you remember right, we put the leadstone one down. Now look at how it's powered, and it's bright, and it's beautiful looking. And yeah, and then we break it. So that's, that's the energetic infuser, guys. Um... I, I, I hope it's been helpful. Be sure to share it with your friends and family. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Be sure to check out other mod videos on the channel if you're uh, curious at all at uh, what else you can do within uh, the Quigley Craft Mod Pack or other various mod packs. They're all super similar. 
slight variance, but uh, yeah. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next one.